Well, we're back out here at Mark and Nancy's renovation. Folks, this is video number nine. It's been about three weeks, Mark, since we were last here. Um, it was Flag Day. Today is July 5, the day after our Independence Day in celebration. How's the progress looking? We've got drywall complete. Looks like it's installed, sanded, and semi-finished, ready for paint. Yep. Hardwoods are done. And you're wall to wall with hardwoods except for bathroom floors. Correct. And the sunroom, which you're leaving alone. Correct. So, and here are the kitchen cabinets, uppers and lowers. And here's a sample of the lower. And then you're going to install the uppers first, correct? Correct. Correct. We've got a, all the cabinet uh, layout marked out on the wall. As you can see, this red laser line we used to do this with uh, old clear water tube now we use lasers but that gives me a level line to work to so everything's flat and level uh, and your notes on the wall obviously that's a trash bin and you got measurements here so you know how to match it up to what box it is yeah, it's a base 18 18 inch wide base cabinet that's a trash how long will this take to finish up the kitchen too damn long uh, it's mostly just me, so it'll probably be eh, two to three days to get all the cabinets in place. Okay. Now, we also have to look at the window trim. Let's go in the other room and get an idea of what that's going to look like. All right, we're out in the sunroom, and the trim work is pretty much done in this room, right, Mark? Eh, it's getting there. Okay. Still a good bit of work, details to do. Let's look at the window and explain your pattern here. Well, you see... Uh, the dumbass that mar married my wife taught her too much about trim work and fancy work. So we ended up with a V-groove trim and I've set this up where it actually turns the corners. And then when I get the aprons on, they'll actually go straight down and then turn 90. Okay, so you've got a little bit of work to do there and you pretty much duplicated the same pattern with yeah, the door. The door, the base trim matches up with the door casing. This is a head detail that we came up with, but of course my wife decided we're gonna run a V-groove across here and back down to match the rest of the trim. I'll have to do that with a router. You're causing excess work for you. You have to go uh, up on your char labor yeah, charge. Like I said, that dumbass that married my wife <laughs> taught her too damn much. Throughout the house, we've replaced all the floors with wide plank, uh, five inch wide uh, red oak. The fireplace, I'll take the mantle off and the brick pediment, and we're gonna put a thin stone on the face of that fireplace. Probably, I'm looking at a white thin stone just to be a little different. Doing that both sides, both rooms of the fireplace? Uh, well, I haven't been told what I've decided, but pretty much one side right now. Okay. And then down the hallway, I had a little extra space. So I added a, uh, this will be a built-in bookshelf. Nice. Of course the bathroom has, expecting to get tile floors. All tile floors. And we're, we're, in the we're, waiting, we're waiting on a decision on uh, what that tile is gonna look like. Uh, doors are ready to be installed in the bedroom. I've got the, Window trim pretty much done. I've got more doors to do. And then the tile work in the bathrooms. Let's go out front and let's look at what you're doing out there. All right, we're outside and you've got a new front door. I don't think that was on our last recording. And you've put the hardy plank. Board and, board and batten up in the space of the uh, overhead porch and the uh, wood that you still see exposed will all be wrapped with a uh, uh, stained wood trim. And this is the same wood that's going to be in the back. In the back. In the back in the covered porch. Okay. Outside, uh, you're basically done except for the exterior coat of paint. You finished the HVAC system. You finished this HVAC system around back where you dug this out, have access. Again, the crawl space is encapsulated. Encapsulated. That means it's sealed on the sides and across the bottom and then spray foam 
uh, insulation around the perimeter. All right, let's go around to the back to the patio and show what we're finish up, finishing up with there. All right, we're in the back of the house. We're in the carport. Mark, you finished this wall off with barn wood. Barn wood, and that'll wrap around this side and hopefully across the back of the uh, shop. And then this will all be uh, B groove, one by six cedar siding on the uh, ceiling. And here's a sample of that. And the board and batten on the house will be painted. Okay. And how much longer did we have? Probably six weeks. Six weeks. And uh, are you feel like you're on schedule? And I'm never on schedule, but. Okay. Yeah, I know it'll be about six weeks to get it done. All right. Well, folks, thank you for watching episode number nine. Uh, more to come as we finish up this exciting project. Be sure to like, subscribe, share the content, and I'll look forward to showing you more. Thanks for watching.